Oh, hello dolls, and welcome back to The Pit Stop. I'm Trixie Mattel, and we're gonna recap this episode of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars 4. This week, we're joined by none other than Miss Vangie. How you doing, girl? Bitch, I'm ready to recap this episode. Mm -hmm. I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Of course. Pink and blonde is a classic look. Oh, I came just for you like this, just you for you. You look incredible. Thank you. And I that belt is amazing. It looks like in lieu of a corset, you were just like, like just grabbed it and Right, I was like, let me get a little shape, because you know, Michelle wrapped me for not having a shape on my season. That's right. So you know, I've, ever since then, I've been traumatized. I'm not gonna lie to you. You had a shape, it was just, it was Circle, hidden. I had a shape. You the circles are so last week, the episode was crazy. All the eliminated girls came back to lip sync for their place in the competition against the queens who are currently in the competition. Mm -hmm. And everybody stayed, including one extra girl. Latrice is back. Mm -hmm. Don't you agree it's equal parts, I'm so happy, equal parts, I have to be perfect or I'm gonna go home next. It's kind of like what Monet said, like now that you are back, but you have to basically win every challenge or be in the top in every one because if not, they're gonna be like, well, you came back, you were not here, you're gonna go back home again. You have to walk on water if you're gonna come back. You can't have any flaws. Jesus did, he walked on water and he came back. Latrice walking on water. <laughs> this week's challenge is incredible. The girls have to create a legendary nightclub. They have to come up with decor, um, some sort of entertainment, a drink special. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this challenge? This is something they should all know because they all, we all come from the nightlife. I was like, this will be hard cut to them standing there painting. I'm like, oh, this isn't a joke. Right, I was gagged with that. Oh yeah. They it, made them build that shit, like home home interior decorating people. Completely. So what does your club look like? Okay, a lot of walls and a lot of holes in the walls. <laughs> Bathroom setting. <laughs> okay, mine would be like sort of like a, a, a food restaurant where it's really fast. The dip comb machine is always out. It's not working, it's broken. Yes, there's always a teenager being like, the machine's getting clean. Yeah, yeah. So as a welcome back gift, Latrice gets to pair up the teams. So it was Monique and Monet, mm -hmm. it was Valentina and Naomi, mm -hmm. and then it was Trinity and Manila, and then Latrice joined them. Do you think Latrice was being strategic and shady or uh, like fair game friendly? Well, she kind of might have been because um, Valentina really wanted to go with Trinity. She was posing. I know. Like, girl, Valentina she knew. Valentina was like, me, me, right. me. The first group, Monet and Monique, did Club Black Hole. Did you live? Bitch, I was, I thought it was everything. <laughs> it was so good. I was, was already everything. like, like while they were going over it and reading it and you know coming up with the idea, I was like, oh, this is gonna be good. I mean, anybody who's like, let's do a meet and greet with an alien baby, <laughs> we just need an incubator. I'm like, like they knew like, oh, this is how it's supposed to be done. We need an incubator. Yeah, like they were too sure of it. And plus the looks they were serving, I mean, Monique and that bowl cut with everything, the glasses. Everything, everything. With the spikes, what did you get, like and spikes? And the Grinch. Oh my God, and Grinch fingers. They were perfect, Like, and they worked so well together. If they pitched that club to me with that clear of an idea, I would be like, girl, this is it. Right, like, oh, I have to have my Tuesday nights. Yeah. Titty Tuesdays. My Tuesday my nights. Titty, I have to have my Titty Tuesdays at the Black Hole. Naomi and Valentina pitched Club 96. Would you go to Club 96? I'm a good friend, so I will go to their club. Now, would I say I would be a regular and have perfect attendance? I'd be like, girl, not tonight. I mm, gotta sit this one out. You're telling me that the appeal of your club is that the drink is this thin? And we all know with ice, you get two sips, yeah. no buzz. None. And you got Club 96 with skinny people. I couldn't tell if they were trying to make fun of this like model thing or if they were like <laughs> actually feeling it. Yeah. They weren't in sync a lot of the times. So you can tell they were trying to be in sync by saying like Club 96 together, whispering it. Oh, the part where they were like, and now we talk together. Yeah, yeah. It was not the yes. same words. You both um stay. And it was like, y'all, one of y'all ain't gonna stay though. You could see Michelle, like you could see like. Michelle sitting uh, in VIP uh, like. Uh, yeah, she's I'm not ready having to go it. Home. They weren't sure what they were selling, mm -hmm. which is just obvious. Right, I think that's why right now we're sitting here and we're like confused too. They look great. Oh, they looked great. I mean, <laughs> they are wearing like sculptures. Yes. They have these rail thin bodies with basically jewelry outfits. Yes, just clear. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. So lastly, we have Latrice, Manila, and Trinity. What did you think of Club Hive? I think the Beehive is gonna be excited because now they have somewhere to go to. They open with Latrice screaming, oh honey, which I love. Yes. Oh, Latrice looked great in that, like it was like black sequin with like a yellow fur mm -hmm. with that Beehive. Yes, yes, yes. She looked great. She looked like a um, Motormouth Mabel. And she had like little thing. bees in the hair, yeah, sickening. Latrice just has like a warmth and mm -hmm. she knew she was talking about, and she believed in it. 
And she said it in the confessional. Latrice is like, I'm a professional nightlife right. person. I can do this. Yeah, I could yeah, do yeah. this even if we weren't here. For sure. Manila helped out a lot. Obviously, the decor was incredible. Mm -hmm. The hexagonal sort of fantasy. Yeah, you know half that <laughs> Manila brought with her because she got that taste where it's real. I know. I, those know. hexagons, she was like, this is one of my earrings. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. And then obviously Trinity, she looked awesome. That's right. The B look. And the, then she. The brows. Yeah, she hosted the event. Trinity is one of those hosts that can go out there with nothing. You're like, uh, we have to stall. Go over there for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And it's great. She just can't host a, a moment in a row. Plus a spelling bee with a strip spelling bee. That was hilarious. That's actually a great idea. At the end of it, the end of it, the bees flying around. Let's say the club closes at two. They say, all right, we got to clear this place out. Release the bees. So for you, who really stood out for the challenge? My favorite was the black hole. It was just it was so over the top. Yeah, I'm like, this The part really where Monique, Monique is saying it's the only club where you can come and get like a by a baby alien. Yeah, it's in your booty hole or some shit. What? So who's your bottoms? Club 45. Yeah. No. Club 45 was definitely club in the bottom. Club 96? 45. They gave about 45%. I mean, okay, so it's runway time and the theme is plastic fantastic. So let's start with the tops. Who was your favorite? Who'd you gag My for, favorite? Vanessa Vanji? I love Valentina's. I really did. Valentina's was beautiful. I mean, the fact that she came out as Miss Venezuela, as like not a, Colombia. As a doll of Miss Venezuela. The gloves. How did you feel at Manila's? You didn't live? I didn't really like Manila's. I think out of all the, out of all the plastics, hers looked really cheap. They I said, liked the fruit, like a shrink wrap. I mean, I don't know, I liked it. And she looked really good with the I mean, short. She looked like John Leguizano and Tu Wong Fu. She looks good, but it was not my favorite. What did you like about Latrice's outfit? The fit was everything on her. She looked. And the, all those balls coming out that bitch head. That was what it was. It was sickening. Latrice sweats seated in an air-conditioned room. Yeah. So her to be standing on stage in latex, she looked like a, a sexual glow worm. I, and I was like anticipating like sweat to be like, they must have had like a, a <laughs> fan right there for her while she get critiqued. And Trinity, I mean, that was a cool look for Trinity Everything. though. Everything. The makeup was cool, the hair was cool. The plastic sort of spillage. And it was different from like everyone else's clear kind of plastic. It was like a yeah. different kind of. And it was actually, she's wearing actual hard plastic, which was cool. Yeah. And it's like seeing um, Trinity like on a poem with the like splash. My obvious tops were Latrice. And this was her best look. And Manila, I think that was second best runway. Yeah. That's how I feel. Yeah. And don't get mad. No, I, I'll, you know, I'll let you slide. I'll wait to, for us to finish recording. Thank you. Who are your bottoms for looks? Mm, Girl, we gotta talk about this. Manila. For me, yeah. for me, the look. I'm gonna flip this chair over. But and I, it's she, she looks bad. Hers, to, for me, okay. look the cheapest. Okay, okay. She still looks good. I respect your opinion. I just, you know, and look, she's been wearing everything fierce, so Well, that's what's fun about drag is we can disagree you know, you're wrong, I'm right, yeah. but here we are. Yeah, and then later on we go in the comments and let each other have it. Yes. My bottoms, um, I just think, I think Monet was, looked good, but not as good as everybody else this week. I mean, there's no way. The clear, the gladiator, it was fine, but it was not Trinity, it was not Latrice, it was not Valentina, it wasn't close. I like seeing her and in pink girl, hair. It was cute. Monet in the pink hair was stunned. Mm -hmm. What did you think, what was Monique? <sighs> She looked like a slot machine that got left out in the rain. No. <laughs> <laughs> she, came, she came out on the runway and, and you were like, bring back the brown cow. For once, she don't got the brown cow, leave it alone. Right. I mean, it wasn't my favorite. I like the idea. I love the fact the bananas. Oh, yeah, I love the bananas. I think, just the only thing for me, I, don't know, I wasn't a big fan of the hair. Even though I know the lady wears hair similar to that. Yeah. That makeup looked like it was a mini challenge makeup. When you go to like TGI Fridays and you get the kids menu, they give you four colors to color that whole thing. Yeah. And you get green, yellow, blue, and white. It was a bummer because she's had some really strong runways and it's too late in the competition to have like a half good one. So the judging this week, we have Latrice and Trinity in the top. You think that's a fair top? I do. I, I, I mean, I like the black hole. I did That too. was my favorite. Monique and Monique's runways cost them the win this week. Yeah, probably because it wasn't as strong, yeah. And the bottom this week is Valentina and Naomi. I mean, we saw that coming, right? Yeah. In it, the critiques, we were like, ooh. Right, right, right. Probably them being safe, they probably were like a little upset, but they were like, bitch, as long as we're not in the bottom. That's the team. Like, girl, I, I mean, I should have won, or we could have won, 
But girl, I'll take me and my bubble wrap paper. I'm going to go ahead to the back. We're back in the workroom and Manila seems a little disappointed that her teammates got wins, but she got left out of the win. Why do you think Manila just missed the win? Clearly from the video, like I feel like it wasn't necessarily bad that what she did because of she was a little bit extra. Yeah, she was a little the, kooky. Yeah, she was like cross-eyed, you know, her Can thing. Can you do that one more time? The thing she does like <laughs> Thriller. So let's talk about the lip sync for the legacy. What did you think of the performances? Two old bitches, imagine. I know. This was the perfect song to be an old bingo lady, like jiving. Come on. Yeah. The titty reveal. Yeah. You didn't live. I mean, I liked it. It was. It really made me feel some kind of way. I don't know what the fuck I was feeling. I was loving it. Her doing like this. Oh my god. To the judges, I'm like. A gimmick can seem desperate. Or a gimmick can like work for you. And I think she picked a gimmick that worked for her. You have to think like, are the judges gonna like this and receive it and think like, yeah. Cause sometimes being a little more earnest is more impactful than doing it jokey. Yeah, sometimes they want you, they want you to see, just say the words to me and be like, right. And channel the emotion. Ultimately the winner of the lip sync was Latrice, which, you know, great job. She yes, lip sync yes, great, yes, yes. she looked cool. She's always gonna give a good performance, regardless. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we knew she was gonna be emotional, and boy. Wow. So Trinity's like, they're like, Trinity, you're safe. And she walked her old titties to the back of the right. stage. Right, and at first she was walking slow, then they said she's safe, that bitch punched it to the back. The old bitch became- <laughs> She broke character. Right! So Latrice wins, and now she has to send home Valentino. Damn. I saw that coming, did you see it coming? When she started saying the speech, yes. But Latrice, I mean, you, I, I really felt for her when she was like, this is much harder than I thought it would be. Yeah, and now uh, maybe she'll understand what happened with Monique. Cause remember she was mad in the beginning about Monique. Yeah. So maybe now she'll understand. That's a good point. Yeah. So Valentina, how great was she this season? Awesome, great, she should be super proud. I think this season, me as a viewer, I went from understanding that she's in her own world yeah. to understanding that she has a sense of humor about it. Yeah. She knows she's over the top, and she it's realizes. fun for her. Yeah. But she knows she's still a person. Bitch, you are like 100% into your character. How would you rate her exit? I mean, you're the queen of exits on Drag Race. I mean, we're gonna see if it goes viral, but yeah. I still, I think it was everything. It was a 10. It was very dignified. It was great. She still left with the crown. Yeah. She looked amazing. She got to leave, like, in this Miss Venezuela where she lives in. This Because she says, I've never done a pageant, but I feel like I've been a pageant girl. Yeah. So, like, and as she said, I'm still living with a crown. And she's, you know, it was it was great. Six queens remain. Who's the front runner right now? Everybody's a front runner except for Latrice has a little bit of um, um her doing winning, but right. she still, I feel like, has a little bit of a... Like a handicap almost. Like Yeah, like they still looking at her like... Like everyone was great, including you, but you went home once, so right. you're going. So any moment you... That's the team. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, it's been another amazing episode. I want to thank the queen of exits, Miss Vanji. Thank amazing you for was a strong word. <laughs> it was a great one. Thank you guys for joining us this week on the pit stop. Bye. Bye, suckers. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>it's me legend icon and star trixie mattel now you don't want to miss a second of rupaul's drag race so subscribe to the vh1 youtube channel to get the latest and greatest in your inbox love yourself and do it already